Assalamu alaikum Hi friends this is Shoaib today I'm going to give a tutorial on creating a swirl a colorful swirl effect around an image if i create a colorful swirl effect uh, it will be something like this now how did i do that i'll show you uh, let's delete these layers first okay first step 1 come at the bottom right over here and click this button which says uh, create a new layer okay you got this layer 1 been created make sure that this layer is selected okay then uh, come to your pen tool over here okay this button over here click this now let's zoom in for better clarity and we're going to mark points around this guy the school dude who's dancing uh the first point i'll mark it somewhere around uh, your okay the second point i'll mark it somewhere around your but this time the difference is that i'm not going to uh, leave my mouse click without leaving my mouse click i'll just rotate my mouse in such a way that this line which you see this line this line should come straight okay and uh the longer this line is the wider would your uh, curve be and the shorter this line is the narrower would your curve be so i would want a medium size curve so i would uh, go for s this much length and i would leave my click here itself i would make another click somewhere around here rotate this in a similar way make it straight leave my click here itself then make another point somewhere around here similarly just rotate it make it straight leave my click make another point somewhere around here rotate it make it straight and then leave it okay then uh make the la uh the point here rotate it make it straight okay leave it and the last point some here okay you have a selection now a pen selection across the image now what you have to do is uh go to this brush tool over here this button click this and set your brush size come down uh, come up uh, over here select this drop down and select the brush size to say 5 or 9 with hardness at 0% okay hardness at 0% and the brush either 5 or 9 i'm going for 9 you can go for 5 in case your image is uh, smaller i'm going for 9 okay and the opacity i'm setting it to 100% the flow i'm again setting it to 100% and then uh your you should find this black box over here at the top the square box click this it's for setting the foreground color get the foreground color picker okay you uh, just drag the circle at the top extreme left okay and click okay uh you get a white selection around the image no not now uh, first uh go to your pen tool over here this pen tool click this and then on the image just right click and uh select stroke path you get a stroke path pop up and in case brush is not selected just click this drop down and uh select brush simulate pressure keep this unchecked and uh, select okay okay you got a white stroke around the image now you just have to get rid of this uh, lining simple just uh, hit enter on your keyboard you got rid of that silver lining now you have to create a glow around this stroke how do you do it just uh, come to this layer 1 layer okay make sure that it's selected and then right click on this uh click blending options okay you get a blending options pop up okay layer style pop up sorry layer style then uh click this outer glow option okay the blend mode change it to normal the opacity let it be at 75% the noise let it be at 0% and click this yellow box and uh, change your color to any ch change ch change it to any uh, glow which you want i would want a red glow so i would go for a a bright red glow then uh, the technique let it be softer the spread uh, keep it at say uh, 4% the size keep it at say uh, 10 pixels okay and uh, click okay 
now we have to erase the unwanted uh, layer from the uh, image okay to give it that swirly effect so first uh, come to this eraser tool over here this button click this and uh, you'll find the brush drop down over here click this and select the brush size to say 13 or 19 I'll go for 19 since my image is big so I'll start brushing now let's enlarge let's zoom this for better clarity and uh, let's start erasing this hey uh, before erasing uh, let's create a layer mask okay over here at the bottom right you'll find a layer mask button just click this just once okay uh, click this and uh, start erasing okay see the layer the reason why I created that la layer mask is because in case if I am not satisfied with my erasing work I could go back to the original swirl by deleting this uh, layer mask uh, that is the main reason behind uh, creating this layer mask uh, you could do this erasing even without the layer mask but once you, you could not go back to the previous step that's the problem so now you have this swirly effect you have to make it colorful now so how do you make it colorful simple layer one you find it over here just right click on this okay and uh, select duplicate layer you get a duplicate layer pop-up let's name it as say uh, clipping layer clipping layer and click ok okay you get a clipping layer now on this clipping layer let's start brushing first select this brush tool option okay set the brush size to say uh, 100 pixels or 200 whichever is preferable for you okay, I'm choosing 100 and then uh, you find this box over here set foreground color click that and uh, select your color to say any one of your choice I'm choosing red over here so red okay and start very roughly brushing on this uh, swirl your red then I'll go for green click ok do this as roughly as possible it's not really important that uh, you do it neatly then blue okay can click this box then uh, let's red clean blue then let's choose uh, yellow click okay again just uh, sorry just uh, yeah that's way then let's select um, purple okay purple and we'll end with red again the two corners with reds okay so now this is a dirty effect here how do you get rid of this dirty effect simple just on this uh, clipping layer which you find over here right click on this clipping layer and select this option which says create clipping mask okay very important just right click and select create clipping mask there you are see you got a colorful effect around the image and uh, this uh, effect is quite bright I would uh, want to reduce the brightness simple to reduce the brightness uh, at the top you'll find this fill option over here which is 100% let's reduce that fillness to say uh, 75 okay now I have a quite balanced effect on my picture and a good swirl effect too so uh, thank you so much for watching my video and you have a great day Jazakallah khair